Uh, Sophia, you saw the, uh, the deck over there and you thought it was great. Yes, it was absolutely awesome. I like that, it. That's terrific. What, what are we going to do now? Well, what I thought is I'll show you how to lay a small area like this. And um, this is, we've made a very small place and we've made a blue line, kind of random. So we don't know how big it is exactly. And we're going to have to measure it. And then we're going to have to make a hexagon fit into a square space or a rectangular space. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Before we start, there are a couple of things you need. Um, because you don't know how many tiles you need. This is going to happen before you order your tiles. You're going to have to measure your space and do some calculations. So. Um, first thing you're going to need is a, uh, a pen and paper because you can record uh, your measurements and of course a tape measure. So the first thing we're going to do is measure our space. And uh, so the tape measure and I can hold it down here and you can just go there and we can check how long it is, right? Two meters. How coincidental. Okay. And over there too. I'll tell you what happens. Often Places are not square, even though you think your house is, you know, lovely. Mm -hmm. Actually, a lot of the things are not exactly square. So you really should measure the two corners. And uh, that's right. So you wouldn't measure in the middle, really, or you could. But just to make sure you've got two meters, right? But and then, the right, square. right, this is a square because we did it this morning and we know. So um, here we've got 1.2. 1.2. And 1.2 down there because we already know that. So the first thing we do is we make a little picture like this and we say, okay, and here we've got two meters and here we've got 1200 millimeters. This is millimeters. Mm -hmm. We work in millimeters. So we say, okay, 1200 by two meters, what's that? Oh, 2.4 square meters. You use your phone, do your calculation. We've got 2.4 square meters. And one square meter of tiles is 17.09 tiles. Mm -hmm. Just because of the shape of them, they are um, a little bit uh, funny to calculate, but it's 17.09 per square meter. We're going to calculate this now. 2.4 times 17.09 equals 41.16. So it's really, you need 41 tiles and then always, because you're going to be cutting some or you may be cutting some, you're going to need a few more. So normally if it's 40, I think four might be enough. So we'll, we'll try that and see how we go. But say there's about 45 tiles altogether we should need. There's a roughly speaking 45, but always need to order a few more. With a bigger space, it's actually more accurate because um, the proportion that you're cutting is smaller. Because there's such a small space, we're cutting a, a greater proportion of, of tiles possibly. Mm -hmm. So the next thing is you've got your space, you know how many tiles you need roughly, and you want to know how am I going to lay them here. And the tiles, when you look at a tile, I'll show you another one. again, these tiles have two parallel sides. And then they have these two pointy sides. That's one way you can look at it, right? Pointy, um, parallel, pointy. This across here is about 250 mil. And here is about 300 mil. So when you lay these tiles, normally you lay them so that you put your parallel side against your long side here. To the long side. So we could put one here, for example, and just to be, um, uh, this is a quick experiment. You can just do this on paper, but I'll show you. You just divide your 1200 by your 250, and then you get your number of tiles, obviously. So it should be six tiles, I think, is it? So I'm gonna put these here and see how we go. And it looks like we're gonna have this many tiles. See how that's, uh, that's gonna be four and a half in that direction. And then when we're going in this direction, We'll go here and we'll just put them here and see how we go. And I'm going to let, just leave it like that for now. That's good, good position. And we're going to keep going in this direction. That's right. And see how many tiles we've got. And that looks pretty good. And in fact, that's not bad because we can now move these a little bit this way. Um, I know that we have enough space now to put them all in, right? I'll just take this one away. 
So we've laid out, we've laid out some tiles here and we know that from here's four and a half, which is fairly easy because we can cut in a number of ways. There are several ways we can do this and what we're gonna do next is to decide on our pattern and our layout. So what we've done at the moment really is simple for this uh, explanation. We've created, we've got our space, which we want to create our little deck and we've measured it. We know how many square meters we have. We know how many tiles we need. And then our next problem is going to be, okay, so what is going to be the pattern that we're going to do? And um, what are we going to do at the edges? Where are the edges going to be? And how are we going to cut those edges if we need to cut edges? So that's what we're going to look at next.